you're actually right away. Uh, I'm just a fan. Are you actually? I'm just a fan. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. What's going on, guys? And welcome to Modern Warfare 3, but on the PC. The second weekend of the beta is officially here, and they actually brought in a good amount of changes to Modern Warfare 3. Things to actually improve the game, like visibility, movement. They added some new maps. Honestly, I'm really excited. You guys know PC gaming is kind of where it's at. You can mess around with, like, your graphics settings a lot more compared to console. You can have better frames. Also, guys, Call of Duty sent me 10 PC, Xbox, beta codes. If you guys need one, drop a like on the video. Also, let me know in the comments your Twitter or Instagram. I'm going to try to message a few of you guys and hook you up with the beta code so you can play the early access beta. Alrighty, fellas, we are here on the PC beta. I can already just tell the, the frames are just so much better. It's kind of ridiculous. What is he doing? Brother, stop it. We're on High Rise 2, which is a brand new map that they added for this weekend of the beta. Oh, push me. Let's go, baby. So there were a few changes within this uh, weekend of the beta compared to last weekend on the PlayStation. If I zoom in on someone, you can see uh, there is a nameplate now uh, on top of their head, basically. Improve the visibility by adding their name, which I think is a really, really good sign. Just before in the first weekend of the beta, they literally just had like, uh, what was it? I think literally just like a, a red dot. They also added high rise, which is really good. I think they added search and destroy as a game mode, which is honestly a huge W as well for all the SND people out there. Now they are gonna make some changes to the movement and to the sliding in Modern Warfare 3, but that's not implemented just yet. So right now when you like slide can in Modern Warfare 3, there's a slight delay between like when you can shoot and basically like when you can put up your ADS and stuff like that. And I think they're going to improve that delay uh, this weekend of the beta, but it's not implemented yet. Still have the classic mini map, which is honestly a wonderful, wonderful sign, bro. Can you, can you please stop it? So obviously I played pretty much the whole entire weekend of the PlayStation beta. I was on my PlayStation 5 and now I'm playing on PC, which is primarily where I play Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty always on PC. And if you guys are maybe new to Call of Duty, maybe you guys are wondering why is PC such a huge advantage compared to console? Well, PC just always gets better frame. It's always going to be smooth um, quality and, and smoother gameplay compared to console. And also on PC, you can have way more settings to basically choose from. So you can update your graphics settings, your display settings, your quality settings. And it's just a lot better compared to console because console limits you with how much you can actually change. All right, we're going to use this SIE, although this is a really really slow game for some reason. I feel like all these guys are like underground. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I got one kill, about two kills, three kills. Where are these people? So yeah, PC gaming will always probably be superior compared to, let's just say console, like a PlayStation or an Xbox. Oh, I'm dead. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my gosh, I'm on a 15. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of new players. I'm not gonna lie. There's a ton of new players right now on the beta, which is kind of nice. All right, we're gonna try and... um. Oh, come on. Oh, this is bad. Bro, I think they're all like under. They are. They're all under. But also, when I was invited to COD Next in LA, uh, we did have the opportunity to play High Rise. So it's pretty nice to finally get it back and play it again. Currently, my favorite two maps... Oh my god, currently my favorite two maps of the beta is probably High Rise and uh, Rust, to be honest. Skidrow is actually really up there as well. I, I'm a huge fan of Skidrow. Well, it's not too, too bad, but it, it I feel like Skidrow, Rust, and High Rise, maybe just a little bit better. I have no idea where these guys are spawning now, to be honest. So I'm a little bit... Oh, okay, okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta be careful. I took the suppressor off my ACR, and now I'm just rocking another attachment that actually helps out with, like, recoil control. So right now my ACR is like... Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Wait, I'm on a 20. I'm on a 20. Hold up. Wait, what is this packet burst? Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. I want to drop a nuke first game on. I think there's a dude above us. I'm dead. Are you kidding? Also, I'll just try and do it for the video right now. But yes, you can get up to the secret ledge or, you know, on the roof of the high rise building. Let me see if I can maybe do it. Hopefully no one kills me. I'm going to try and just do it for the content. Do it for you guys, the Nodi gang, the viewers. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed, man. We're going to be, you know, obviously posting a lot of MW3 content, uh, you know, throughout this beta this weekend as well. As when the full game drops, November 10th. We got a lot of things to look forward to as well. Uh, the I think November 3rd is when we get early access to the MW3 campaign, which I'll probably be streaming or posting videos on, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And then November 10th is literally when the game comes out, which is really close, to be honest. Oh, okay. 
Bro, I should have I should have literally just camped up here, to be honest. If I'm a few kills away from my nuke, I might as well just try and get on top of this building because no one's pretty much gonna kill me at, at this point. I do think the game looks much, much better on PC. I'm not even just saying that. Uh, I do think that the game looks visually better on PC, and I think that's just obviously better for the visibility, trying to see you know, your your enemies and your teammates, because the first weekend of the beta on console, I was shooting at my teammates a lot. I was not really able to distinguish my teammates versus an enemy. So first impressions, I think the visibility is a lot better um, now on PC compared to console. Yo, these guys have not killed me from up top here. Oh my God, I'm on another streak. Thank you. Oh, I, I have no ammo. Okay, um, we're just gonna... Sure, yeah. Also, I think uh, in the patch notes that they just dropped for the second weekend of the beta, they mentioned that they actually nerfed the Striker, aka the UMP-45, which is, is the, probably the best SMG in the entire game. But yeah, they nerfed the Striker-45. They decrease a lot of, like, the damage ranges on that gun. It's gonna be pretty interesting. I might try and use the Striker-45 next game just to see if it's even good, if it's even viable. Oh my lord, you got destroyed. I don't know, the Rival 9 um, might be the best SMG in, in the game now, now that the UMP got nerfed. All right, we need, there we go. Honestly, first game on the PC was really, really fun. All right, fellas, you know, you know I had to play on Rust today on PC. Oh, hell no, that guy is already jumping. Let's see what we can do here, man. They nerfed the UMP 45, so I really wanted to see how the UMP was. Um, but we only got TDM, which, which kind of, it's not great. TDM's not great, obviously, because the game will end. The spawns are really not too great. I would much rather hardpoint domination. Um, this guy's gonna push me, but he doesn't know I popped Battle Rage. Thank you, kiddo. Oh, he killed me with what? A thermo Arab. What grenade is that? One kill. Sliding still feels good, but I, I can't wait for the movement update. They're, they're definitely gonna put out that movement update. Um, hopefully within the next few days. Um, hopefully maybe even tomorrow. Wait, what is going on, guys? I gotta climb up. I'm gonna climb up. And I think, I think someone's right here. Hello? Wait. There we go. This guy, like, right here. I don't like these vibes right now. Honestly, TDM vibes are not good. I don't like TDM. Oh my flippin'! I don't like TDM. <laughs> TDM is so awful, bro. I wanna get up top, because up top is definitely the best play. I'm dead though. I'm so dead. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to get up top for sure. I'm dead. P they need one bullet on me. Oh my god. There's someone just sitting up top, so I'm probably gonna tr throw up my SIE like right there. Literally right there. This guy might come around. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just gonna try and keep my distance because I don't want my SIE to kill me. Yep, we got the guy off top. Oh my god! Oh my god, we got the guy! He's not off top anymore! Oh my god, okay. This guy's right here. They might actually be spawning from behind me. I'm on a 10 kill streak. I don't know if I'll be able to drop though, unfortunately. I don't think I'll be able to, just because of just how crazy, like, Rust spawns on with, with TDM. I hear this guy. Wait. I hit that guy through the... Wow, that was kind of cracked. Okay. I'm gonna pop this. I really want to get up top. So I think I'm gonna try. I think I'm gonna try. We're gonna try and slide cancel. Slide cancel. Thank you. I'm on a 15. Okay. Oh. On your six. I'll cook this nade. Just throw it over there. We good? We good? This guy directly under me. That was just a good throw. That was just a great throw. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, no. No, that was just such a good throw, dude. It's TDM, so like I said, I don't think we'd be able to even really drop a, an MGB, a nuke, but um, you know what, man? That That's fine. That's fine. This was a pretty crazy, hectic game. Love the vibes, though. Ooh. Okay, I'm dead. <gasps> Does he see me? I think they got distracted. Teammates. Teammates distracted. I love that. 
This guy's climbing up, bro. What do you think you're doing? I love Russ. I don't know about you guys, but Russ is great vibes. Russ is wonderful vibes. This guy's gonna come through. Thank you. We good? Thank you. We have another SIE. We'll probably just pop. Oh my god. I knew I was dead. We need a few more kills. SIE should clean up the rest. Or, or maybe my teammates will. My te or maybe I will. SIE, there we go. Are you actually right away? Uh, I'm just a fan. Are you actually... I'm just a fan. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys. So literally, as I'm recording uh, this video, Sledgehammer just put out an update for Modern Warfare 3, and it was the movement update. So now there is a less of a delay when you slide cancel, and oh, I'm dead. I was so dead. But to be honest with you, um, the movement feels actually really, really good. Um, it definitely removes some of the delay. Wow. Wow. It definitely removes some of the delay. Um, so it's much faster now, much snappier. And now we got new movement to try out, which I absolutely love. Okay, so it's domination. And I don't even know where these guys are, to be honest with you guys. Like, where are they? We're losing C? What? Thank you. Got a UAV. Okay, we're going to try and try and nuke up here. We're going to try and nuke up. Hope he can, to be honest. I hope he can. ACR is just still that gun. We got the counter, so let's put that up. Got the SIE. I think a lot of these guys are down below. I'm going to use this SIE. Yeah, the, all these guys are down below. Let's go. Not sure if we're gonna flip spawns at any point. Good Got a double kill with that. Oh, this guy behind me. Mono Merciless. Time, game's feeling really nice. I'm not even gonna front. That game is feeling really good. Okay, we're losing C. For some reason, we're losing C. Teammate got me under there, hopefully. Hopefully, these guys push out on the left side. Hopefully. UAV is being I have a feeling they push RTV middle. I gotta get out. Your max. This spot was kind of OP under here. We're we're not in a a great spot right now. Oh, this is kind of bad. On your six. Get to cover. I'm gonna pop battle rage, I think. I'm gonna try and get out of here. I'm on a 15. Teammates are still shooting at me. Oh man, I don't like this. Nice headshot. Wait. Bro, we're getting triple capped right now. Bro, we, we are literally getting triple capped. I don't know what to do. My teammates are not capping a point. I gotta run. Bro, I'm on a 20. Reloaded. I think we back up. I think we back up and we we have to catch a we have to get, we have to get a flag. We have to. I don't even know how I just got that kill. Bro, I can't see a single person over there. Man, we are so close. We are so close to this nuke. I don't like these vibes though, unfortunately. I just don't. I'm gonna pop Battle Rage. Someone's on, someone's trying to get C.
Mono brutal, five kills away. I'm four kills away from a nuke. We're losing C. Guys, I'm sorry I'm playing so passive right now. Guys, I know, I know. You don't have to comment. I know. I, I, I didn't play aggressive right there. I did not play aggressive. I think it feels really good. I think the game is honestly in a pretty good spot in terms of movement, in terms of just how fast and like snappy the game feels. Um, the game also feels way better on PC. Um, it's actually kind of ridiculous how much better it feels on PC. I don't think I killed that second guy. Wow. Sometimes the health increase, it, it catches me off guard sometimes. It does. MGB, call us in, dial it up. Do, 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 do. Thank you. But there is the MGB. Where does it fall from, man? Hello? Hello? Oh, it just... Is there someone in front of me? Bro. That, there's the nuke. So guys, since we are playing Modern Warfare 3 on PC, I think this would be a good time to introduce this brand new scuff controller that literally just got released. This is their new Envision controller, and this is easily the most versatile PC gaming controller out there. This right here is the scuff Envision controller. You guys can see it is literally the most insane PC gaming controller out there. Still have the paddles on the back, which is really amazing, but also you have buttons on the side now that you can easily program, which is actually really cool. I have the buttons right here, which feel really, really snappy. All the thumbsticks, it, it feels really good, to be honest. Now, one of my favorite parts about this controller is the triggers. You can see they go all the way down. If you flip the switch to the other side, it now becomes haptic and uh, it doesn't go down. So you can actually press the triggers a lot faster. And also these buttons right here on the bottom, these can all be programmed to buttons on the controller or whatever game you're playing. And the controller feels really good in my hands. I'm not gonna lie. If you guys are interested in this controller, the link will be down below in the description and also use code RAID for a discount.